Hello everyone, it's PCL Bahe and today I'll be showing you how to fix online lag and server issues for the game Red Dead Redemption 2 in few simple steps. So these steps will help you in getting the best out of your current internet connection while playing this game. So one thing to note here is that the first 4 steps are for everyone but the last step is only for pro gamers who don't want to compromise at all with their ping while gaming. And just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one and this one will be clean booting your PC. So what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made a 4 minutes guide on how to do so. So make sure to watch this video. I'll provide you the link of this video in the description of this one. So make sure you watch this video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. It's a really important step. Make sure to clean boot your PC first. The second step is again a really important one and it really helps a lot of users. What you have to do is search for CMD and go to your command prompt and here search for ping, not search, you type ping 1.1.1.1 and press enter. Now let it calculate the average ping value for you and here it is, it is 9ms for 1.1.1.1 and now search ping space 8.8.8.8 and press enter. Let it calculate the value for this one. And here it is 26 ms. As you can see the difference is really significant. Here the ping value is 9 ms and here it is 26 ms. And for you it might be 8.8.8.8 which would, would be better. In my case it's 1.1. So whichever is better for you, you have to change to that DNS value. Now I'll show you how to change your DNS server. Now search for network and go to view network connections. Once you open it, select the network which, which you are connected to right now. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi so I'll double click on it. And here I'll go to its properties and here go to internet protocol version 4 and double click on it and here obtain an IP address automatically and select use the following DNS service address. So for me better one was 1.1.1.1 so you have to enter the DNS which was better for you for me it was 1.1.1.1 and here type 1144. So for if for you the DNS server 8.8.8.8 was better so what you have to do is you have to enter here 8.8.8.8 and in the second line you have to enter 8.8.4.4 so just replace 1 by 8 and everything will be the same click on ok click on ok again and close this it will surely help you in getting better ping and resolving any online lag issues now let's proceed to the third step so in the third step will be forwarding ports. So first we have to know what ports are used in this game. So search for Red Dead Redemption 2 ports and go to this first link by portforward.com and here scroll down to Red Dead Redemption 2 PC and here you will see TCP and UDP ports. Now you have to search for firewall in your windows search bar and go to windows defender firewall with advanced security. Once you click on it you will be on this screen. Here go to inbound rules and go to new rule. Once you will create a new rule it will ask you for program or port. Select port here and click on next. Here first let's select TCP port and copy everything in front of TCP on this website. So you don't have to go to this website. I will provide you the TCP and UDP ports in the description of this video. So you can just copy it from there. So paste the TCP port here. Click on next. Allow the connection. Click on next. Domain private public. Click on everything. Next. And give it the name RDR2. Finish it. Now let's create another rule for UDP ports. And here again select port. Click on next and this time we will select UDP and in UDP port you will copy everything in front of UDP from here and paste it here or uh, select it and paste it here. Click on next, allow the connection, click everything domain private public and give it the name RDR2 again. You click on finish. So that's it for the third step and it will definitely help you. But if you are still facing this problem then proceed to the fourth step. This step will be flushing DNS and later I'll refer you some videos which might help you in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So first go to your command prompt again and go to command prompt and here search for ipconfig ipconfig space slash flush DNS. Once you have typed this press enter and you can see successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Once you have done it, your DNS has been flushed and if the first 3 steps didn't work for you, it will surely help you. Once you have done it and you are still having some lagging issues and not because of your internet connection but because of your PC specification, then what you can do is, you can download a game booster 
and the game booster I recommend is Razer Cortex Game Booster and it is not a paid promotion at all. It is just my personal experience that I find Razer Cortex to be the best one. So I've made a guide on how to download and install it and how to do advanced setup of this game booster for gamers only. So it is a bit complicated so make sure to watch this video I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. And I've made another video specific to Nvidia users on how to do Nvidia control panel best settings for best gaming experience. So watch this video too and these two videos will help you in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So the last step which I mentioned in the beginning only that is only for pro players and players who don't want to compromise at all with their gaming experience is downloading WD fast. But the thing is it is really complicated to use this software. So what I recommend is you should watch my video on how to fix high ping issues in game Valorant. All you have to do is watch this video till the end from starting till the end and instead of selecting the game Valorant in WD fast you have to select your game Red Dead Redemption 2. Rest all the steps are same. So just watch this video and see how to use WD fast and will definitely help you and you'll definitely see a significant difference in your gaming performance. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped you. If it worked for you, please leave a like. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.